I promised another annual report for Santa. What a year it's been. First of all, we had GDPR, or Gin, Dubonnet, Rum and Prosecco, as we came to call it here. What a palaver. It turns out Santa is not in the EU, so he's the third country when it comes to data processing. You won't believe the difficulties we had persuading the EU that you could trust your children's data with us. In the end though, we got it sorted out. We created an elf shield, which is a super elf magic privacy shield that makes all your problems go away. But it didn't get rid of the problem of parental consent. We can't hold children's data without the parents' consent. It wasn't too tricky with the nice list. We just sent the elves round and they agreed straight away and signed up and posted their notes up the chimney. The problem was with the naughty list. The parents didn't want their children on the naughty list. So we've had to change the way we do things now. We don't have a naughty list and a nice list. We only have a nice list. So if you're on the nice list, you'll get a present. And if you're not on any list at all, I'm afraid you won't. It wasn't the end of our legal difficulties though. We had terrible problems with the snowmen or the snow people, as I have to call them now. First of all, people complained that they were all one gender. And then other people complained that you can't tell the gender of a snow person, even when they're transitioning. If that wasn't complicated enough, we had a lot of complaints that the snow people are always white. We've had some difficulty creating multicoloured snow, but we promise you that by next year we'll have it all sorted out and rainbow snow people will be the norm. And then the tax man gave us a lot of trouble. They sent us something called International Reindeer 35, or IR35 to you and I. And they said that because we tell the reindeer exactly when to work on Christmas Eve and exactly which houses to go to, they're not really self-employed. So we have to deduct tax from the reindeers that invoice us through their company and put the rest on pay as you earn. The reindeer are up in arms. They don't like this international reindeer directive, but the government is adamant that reindeer are no longer to be viewed as self-employed. We have our difficulties in Santa's land. We've always tried to comply with international law, but dare I mention Brexit. So many people had to be taken off the nice list as a result of all the shenanigans around that. At least we've got a much smaller distribution list this year. But I promise you that you're on the nice list if you're complying with GDPR and if you're struggling with the International Reindeer Directive. I'd like to take this opportunity to wish you a very happy Christmas and New Year and you know we'll be working you with you wherever you are as soon as the New Year starts. Lots of love from all the Coffee Clutch Elves.